Get ready for your daily dose of marketing strategies and tactics from entrepreneurs with the guile and experience to help you find success in any marketing capacity. You're listening to Marketing School with your instructors, Neil Patel and Eric Sue. Welcome to another episode of Marketing School. I'm Eric Sue, And I'm Neil Patel. And today we're going to talk about how many backlinks do you really need. So the thing I'll look at is this. I mean, let's let's say you're in the industry of, I don't know, interior design, for example, and you have your top two or three competitors, right? So I always like looking at my competitors' backlinks profile, um, you know, as part of the as part of the strategy, just to see, okay, how strong is their backlink profile? How strong is their uh, domain rank or their domain authority? Right? Those are both scored on the scale of one to one hundred. And then I can look at their backlink profile. You know, is it spammy? Actually, here's a really good example. Um, you know, we both of us have a friend in the in the blockchain space, and that space is still very nascent right now. So we're talking cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, things like that. And this guy, you know, does really well for himself, right? Thing is, that industry is not that competitive at the moment. So he is susceptible to somebody, you know, like a really smart marketer deciding to go all in on it. So he needs to fortify his backlink profile um, because, you know, it's just a bunch of spammy stuff right now, and it's still a very nascent industry. So look at the backlink uh, profile, and then you'll get an idea of what you actually need to do in order to compete. If your competitors have a lot more backlinks than you, you don't necessarily need more than them. There's other factors that can help boost your ranking so you don't have to build as many links. So I'm going to share two of them that are really important. One is brand queries. If your brand is bigger and more people are searching for your brand, you're better off and you need far less links. Like even if you have half the amount of links, you can still outrank others assuming you have more brand queries. It's a really valuable factor that Google uses that most people forget. And there's no simple way to like spoof this or get your friends to search. They look for it on a daily or consistent basis. So you need to be building a brand. And that could be through content marketing, podcasting, videos, whatever it is. The more value you provide, the bigger your brand will grow over time. The second thing I have to share with you is thoroughness. Content thoroughness after Google's Hummingbird update has a huge impact on search traffic and rankings. So if your content is five times more detailed than your competitors, it has the right keywords, your user metrics are much better, and people love the content that you're pushing out, What you'll find is you can outrank people who literally have three, four, or even five times more backlinks than you. And I've done this time and time again. It really comes down to having really super thorough content. Yeah. So two things that Neil likes to talk about a lot. Well, here's how you can monitor your brand queries. You can look at Google Trends. That's the first thing, right? That's free. Second thing is, I mean, you know, I use BuzzSumo. BuzzSumo, you know, Neil and I talk about it a lot to, you know, monitor kind of uh, who's doing well in terms of certain topics and then, you know, who's got the most shared articles for certain uh, niches. But you can also use a tool like BuzzSumo to manage uh, brand mentions. You can look at your competitors. You can look at yourself. I actually get a, a alert every single day from BuzzSumo showing Showing how I'm doing. And that gives me an idea of, you know, what I need to do next from a brand perspective. And I think it's really important. I mean, the fact that we're doing this right now is an element of branding. Neil, anything else? Yeah, last but not least, from my end, focus on quality. You don't need the most amount of backlinks. If your backlinks are more relevant, they're contextual, they're within the text versus the sidebar or footer, and they're from higher domain authority sites, right? I'm giving you the best situation. You can outrank people like with one tenth the links. It really comes down to quality. It's not all about quantity. Great. So that's it for today. But before we go, we have a 90 day free trial of Crazy Egg to give away to every single one of you. Just go to singlegrain.com slash giveaway to learn more. And you'll learn more about how you can get a one year annual subscription of Crazy Egg. So that's it for today. And we'll see you tomorrow. This session of marketing school has come to a close. Be sure to subscribe for more daily marketing strategies and tactics to help you find the success you've always dreamed of. And don't forget to rate and review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you in class tomorrow right here on Marketing School.